Hi, welcome to another video of the Target Individual Program, the Target Individual Experience. So, I was doing some studying, and um, you know, besides all that noise, I went into the kitchen to get something to eat, and I noticed again what they'll start to do. Okay, uh, being that I'm not outside, I'm not by Pam, they will again start targeting me within uh, this apartment with family members. Okay. And so I had put, you know, some food on the stove to warm up. And of course, they knew I was going to come back into the kitchen. So what did they do? Again, using numbers, you'll see they have the number five on the microwave, which is, you know, something that Pam would do all the time. And I keep saying to her, I'm like, you know, why do you stop the microwave sometimes at five seconds, uh, four seconds, three seconds, even one second, she'll stop the microwave at one second to the number that I can see. So this is the number game that they love to play. Okay. And, um, you know, I had, uh, I spoke to my son, I called my son and I said, Hey, he, you know, cause he's at, she took him to her, I took the kids to her, one of her friend's house. So I called them, you know, see how he was doing. I called him earlier. I called him to see what he was doing. He was like, uh, you know, he's just there. So I said, you haven't heard from your mother? He's like, no. And this is, you know, again, going on 8 o'clock. Um, I spoke to him earlier today, like around 2.30, and she hasn't even called because he has his own phone. She, You know, but that's her, you know what I'm saying? So I was just kind of like, um, okay. So I called her, and she didn't answer, which was fine. And then um, after I hanged up about a minute later, I start hearing uh, police sirens again, okay? And, you know, like I said, this is nothing new. I've experienced this stuff before, and, you know, this is what they'll do. Uh, they'll use her target ta to target me, uh, get upset, you know, real, you know, and then she does it on purpose, too. She, You know, this was definitely, I know this was done on purpose um, uh, because of what is happening today, right? Um, and she think I don't know, but I do know. Um, but anyway, uh, that's besides the point. Um, so anyway, so then I came back into my bedroom and there was a, a strong scent of marijuana. No, I don't smoke, you know, marijuana or weed, you know, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs. Um, and, and I was like, you know, but again, this is this is this is plan. This is this is plan, and the reason why they'll do this sometimes to me, particularly when they're targeting me this heavily, uh, you guys can Google this. And um, what they do is that when they they think they have me in a heightened state, that's what they believe. That's what they think, right? Because again, I may be um, reacting to what they're doing, or they're reacting, or they think I'm reacting to what they're doing, or they're reacting to what I'm doing, and so weed is something that weed is a drug that can for a person that have a mental illness it will um what's the word i'm looking for um put that per person or make that person uh develop psychosis just as how lack of sleep can make a person develop psychosis psychosis is you know the breakdown of the mind you know where uh, you become um, delusional, right? And so they're attempting to, <laughs> I guess, use uh, marijuana to try to uh, get me to a point where I'm in a psychosis state. You know, I mean, that's the best way I can explain it, which is really ridiculous. But again, this is something that they've done. And I, and I said this all the time, that if you don't study, and a lot of times people don't know, People don't know. It took me years. I've, I've been in this program for two decades. Okay. I've basically studied everything that they've done. You know, using my experience and also um, buying books on psychological conditioning, uh, particularly dog psychology, reading them, going online, um, reading about psychological conditioning, psychological program, uh, mind control program by the U.S. government and other governments around the world, uh, you know, coercive persuasion tactics, um, uh, uh, the thought of reform uh, programming, 
right? <clears throat> so Jay left in um, seven, seven criteria, or the seven or eight criteria of thought reform, coercive persuasion, programming, uh, dark NLP, which is neuro linguistic uh, programming, and how they create anchors and triggers. <clears throat> and, um, you know, uh, prof law of uh, classical conditioning, uh, those sort of things. So those, un, you know, reading about those things um, and understand and applying it to uh, what I was going through helped me to identify a lot of the tactics that was done to me as well as other people. Okay. And so, um, and then understanding the technology, right? For, for example, uh, microchipping, right? Illegal microchipping of people for the purpose of remote neural monitoring, right? On top of that, illegal drugging, you know, drugging people um, to soften up their minds so that they can be easy, to be more easily uh, uh, manipulated, right, and brainwashed. So understanding these things uh, over the years has helped me to identify a lot of the tactics that they do. Uh, one of the, the, the biggest challenge that I have as a TI is, again, is when I'm being microwaved, when my family are being microwaved, when my kids are being microwaved along with myself, uh, the difficulty of dealing with that, right? The difficulty of having um, uh, that being done to you at that time. Because, again, there, there is no defense mechanism against that except to leave right in, in in which the case they put you in the fight or flight phenomenon that's, that's where that's where you're at at that point so you're either going to fight back and normally if you're fighting back whether it be verbally or physically it's going to go against you okay um uh not so much verbally because it depends on your level of understanding of what's being done and um you know the, the people around you and whether they believe you or not. So if you tell them, okay, you're targeting me, or maybe microwave and you're targeting me. Now, if they uh, pay attention to what it is that they do in front of you, but again, you have to explain a lot of things to them. Or um, you leave. You know, most times if, if I'm with my Pam, you know, um, I'll, for the most part, you know, she'll, I'll just chill, what have you. But then when it's intensified, you know, then I just leave. And so that's what I do. You know, you know, that may not work for everybody, but that's what I do. But then when I come here at my house, I still go through the same thing. But at least I can close my bedroom door and lock it and I can be in my bedroom with no one around me. Okay. And so that's what I do until the next day when they ease up on the microwaving. Okay. But again, like I said today, uh, this is what they're doing, right? And, um, you know, I understand that they're going to always use numbers because it, can, it, it depends on what it is, what type of subliminal message they're trying to send you, okay? And so um, this is something that, again, they'll do time and time again, all right? And so it, it's... I've taken responsibility of exp explaining these things and exposing these things, um, particularly, you know, in terms of what I'm going through and what, what I'm thinking. Um, because I'm, I'm, I, I think I'm, um, I have a pretty good understanding of the mentality of the people who uh, engage in these type of behavior. And, and um, uh, I should say the architect of these programs, right? These are the Machiavellian type of personality right as well as uh the the uh, narcissistic and you know in terms of uh their uh like those within religion who participate in these things they have created within them a narcissistic type of personality right a delusional type of personality and so you know it is what it is um but again the use of uh marijuana they do this again from time to time and again you know they can do it elsewhere but because i'm targeted they're going to do it right uh in front of my bedroom window um and again they have to go through an alley just to get behind here right so just to show you how the deliberateness of it is and what is that they do all right so that's it for this video i will see you guys on the next video